Hello students, today we are going to study the characteristics and control techniques of Hemiptera, a group of insects closely related to agriculture. Stink bugs are small to medium-sized, some are large, and most of them have flat and hard bodies. The mouth parts are stinging and sucking with long four-segmented rostrums. The antennae are mostly filiform, the dorsal plate of the prothorax is well developed, the mesothorax has a triangular shield, the fore wings are semi-sheathing, and the hind wings are membranous. Most species have stink glands. The metamorphic type is incomplete, i.e., there are only three developmental stages, eggs, worms, and adults. Most of them are phytophagous pests, feeding on plant sap, and a few are carnivorous natural enemies, such as hunting bugs. 1. Pentatomidae. The body of Pentatomidae pests is small to large, with four to five antennae, four rostrum segments, small shields, triangular shape, longer than the claw segments, and many longitudinal veins in the forewing membrane area, and well-developed stink glands. 2. Marginalia sei. Marginalia sei have medium to large bodies, narrow and long antennae filiform, four-segmented, the small shield does not exceed the end of the claw area, and there are parallel veins on the forewing membrane, and the hind legs are flat and thick, with tubercles or spine-like protrusions. The edge bugs are phytophagous pests. Miridae. Miridae are small to medium-sized with filiform, four-segmented antennae. They are slightly long and thin without a single eye. The four wings are divided into four parts, leathery lamellae, claw lamellae, cuneiform lamellae, and membrane lamellae. Most of them are phytophagous pests. 4. Tingidae. Tingidae are tiny and flattened, 3 to 4 millimeters. The dorsal plate of the prothorax extends backward to cover the small shield, and there is no distinction between the leather and membrane areas of the forewings, and the dorsal plate of the prothorax and forewings are covered with net-like patterns. 5. Reduvidae. Reduvidae are medium-sized to large-sized, the head is relatively small, flat, more or less narrowed at the base, and slightly neck-shaped. The antennae are slender and four-segmented. The rostrums are all three-segmented, curved at the base, not immediately below the head, and sharp at the end. Reduvidae are all carnivorous beneficial insects. Control Techniques for Hemitra Insects The following is a brief description of the control techniques of Hemiptera pests, taking Tessera timidae and Tingidae as examples. 1. Biological control. The most significant parasitic natural enemies of the Tesseratomidae are the flat-bellied bee and the egg-hopping bee, of which the flat-bellied bee has achieved remarkable results in research and field application. Both C. albicans and C. aeruginosa can be parasitized on the body of adult Tesseratomidae and spread their infection to each other and the lethality of the tesseratomidae is quite high. The biological control of tingidae is mainly to release the black egg wasp of lychee bug in the field to reduce the population density. 2. Chemical control. Trichlorphon, deltamethrin, biphenethrin, acetamiprid, thiamethoxam, fipronil, and other organophosphorus or pyrethroids and neonicotinoid insecticides in rotation or compounding agents have good control effect. This lesson is over. Thanks for watching.